What is happening guys, Chris from NGG here and I am starting doing Wednesday streams. Uh, this is just going to be, I'm going to play the most recent decks or maybe some decks that I've been testing. Um, today I'm going to be playing mostly the Brazil decks uh, available on Limitless. I'll leave a link in the description and I think I'll start off with the second place Brazil list. Um, if you're unsure of the list, this is it here. Um, there's a couple of things I don't 100% agree with, but you know, don't knock it till you try it. So I'll uh, run through the list and then we'll play some game. So he is elected to play the uh, one Orangaru, uh, four Bibi Budswell, kind of standard in what the deck aims to do. It is Buzzgarb, uh, one Diancy to power up your uh, Bibi Budswells just to be able to really uh, consistently, maybe even one shot the Zoroarks, but you're. Uh, looking to trade two shots because without Devour planes they are going to struggle to knock out the BB Buzzwell because of the 130 HP body. So yeah, it just forces your opponent to find a damage modifier um, which is just really insane off a uh, one energy, one prize attacker. So it's always good. Uh, partnering the uh, Buzzwell is the Garboder Trash Alanch uh, as cards. Near enough, always good in every single format, just because of uh, items are always played, Ultra Ball, uh, Choice Bands, Field Blowers, and then this format, it's a uh, Nest Balls, uh, that's that's the sort of change to this format because of the loss of Bridget. So Trash Alliance really builds up and up and up, while well, you're grinding away with your Bibi Buzz Walls, um, you're going to have Trubbish in the back, uh, just sitting there waiting to threaten, uh, you put down Trash Lunch when it is uh, time to go uh, and Garboder just sweeps, um, especially in the mirror because obviously BB Buzzwell is weak to Psychic uh, as well as the Trash Lunch, he is also weak to Psychic so the mirror becomes kind of weird um, the, the Garboder line is just insanely good in the mirror um, because of, of weakness and obviously the uh, mass amount of items that this deck plays, it uh, doesn't matter about this list or any sort of list that is a Buzzwell Garboder, same thing, uh, heavy, heavy line of items, so uh, Garboder is insane. Uh, then for the trainers, this is the part that uh, I start disagreeing. So there is four Nest Ball, 100% uh, that's needed because you yeah, don't play Bridget, so Fan Club, uh, obviously Bridget's rotated, but stuff like Fan Club, you have a Con Maker, um, don't play them, don't need them, you don't want to commit your supporter to that, you just want to put down two or three uh, basic Pokemon and start turning away at your opponent's GX EXs, uh, one Rescue Stretcher, just is recovery, I kind of like it at two it here. Uh, just because it gives you that stamina and that grind game. Uh, even if your opponent does start being able to one-shot the BB Buzzwolves or whatever, it just means that they're always a threat. You always have like a constant uh, steady supply of them. So I, I kind of like two Stretcher uh, instead of one. Then we're playing two Switch, because uh, R.A.P. Floatstone, uh, you have to play it. But it is another item for Trash Line, just kind of sucks. Uh, for Ultra Ball, I don't know why uh, PTCGO uh, put in four different styles of uh, Ultra Ball, but sure, we can work with it. And then the main reason why the deck exists, four Shrine of Punishment between turns, put one damage counter on each Pokemon EX and GX. Uh, this card just needs to be outed, you can't ignore it. It just sits there in the background, uh, so to speak, and just churns away before you notice that uh, your Lele is two turns from getting knocked out by Shrine, even without being touched. Uh, Zorark, the sort of chipping away that Buzzwell was doing, didn't seem like a threat, becomes much more of a threat with Shrine of Punishment up. Uh, it just really forces you to make really unoptimal max potion and it's a roll of plays when you really would want them uh, committed elsewhere. So Shrine of Punishment is a pain in the hole for uh, Reels, um, the meta, quote decks, uh, Requaza, Zorark, etc. Then this is when it starts getting a bit weird. He's playing four copies of Copycat. This card is not played in any capacity in recent lists, uh, be it Requaza, Zorark, um, the Shrine decks, uh, any deck you can think of. Copycat is just not in the deck list, simply because it, it is a card that relies on your opponents, uh, needs your opponent to either be greedy with their hand size, or, um, you know, overextend in the prizes, um, giving them a really, as I say, big hand size so you can copycat them for maximum payoff. So, uh, I don't like copycat at all, but he has elected to play 
for copycat in here because I think he's just going to stream uh, draw supporter after draw supporter after draw supporter and um, so uh, th th that's his theory in it he he thinks that drawing four to six cards of copycat is fine drawing four cards of copycat is not fine it's judging yourself without judging your opponent with this with it's just not good at all um so i really don't like copycat because of that because it just depends on your opponent having a low hand size or a high hand size and it really doesn't do anything if your opponent has knowledge about it and he's playing four so your opponent is going to have knowledge about copycat um i guess it sort of makes your opponent have to either discard the items for trashy lunch or hold on to them and make your copycats a bit more blue white but even with that they can still put their hand down easily to uh, buy four cards uh maybe below with items in hand anyway so I don't think it plays into it um, too much, but I'm hoping to be pleasantly surprised when I go to play a couple of games with it here. Uh, then, for Cynthia, that's incredibly standard, it's the best draw supporter, or, yeah, draw supporter we have in the game right now. Uh, for Guzma, just so you can pick your targets um, when you're attacking, basically. If they try and use their Zorark uh, partner attacker just to hit you and try and get their Zorarks out of the way of your BB Buzzles, you can say, no, give me that Buzzle, or sorry, <laughs> give me that Zorark, it's mine, uh, Guzma is just a fantastically aggressive card, and uh, you do play Switch, so I guess you can sort of pivot, but even with that, you can just change between Buzzle and Trash Lunge, absolutely no problem, um, it's very common to literally trade a BB Buzzle for a BB Buzzle, so you don't really need like a Guzma pivot, so to speak, uh, but it is there with Switch if you need it. Uh, Guzma is just obviously a fantastic card and then even weirder is four copies of Tate and Liza um, Definitely for the shuffle draw five not the switch of course that does come up um, quite often I guess But the four copies of it is such a heavy heavy line and um, same theory as copycat You just want to keep streaming uh, your attacker or your draw supporters keep turning on the resources um, so Fair enough, I suppose, um, this, this is why he wants to play this many draw supporters, but if you have noticed, there is zero copies of Lily, uh, I think that's madness, I think behind Cynthia, Lily is the strongest draw supporter that we have, uh, not even game one, or sorry, turn one, outside of that, it's still fine, especially in a deck that can put a lot of cards onto the board, um, like your BB Buzz Wolves, Touch Energy, Touch Choice Band, Shrine, um, it, it just seems that Lily is always alive to at least draw you of the up to six cards in hand, but even drawing three or two of Lily is fine, because like I said, unlike um, Copycat, if you shuffle into four, you only have four cards, um, but Lily, you'll always have six cards at least, and I don't see Lily being dead very often in this deck, so... Um, I 100% disagree with no Lily and the heavy copycat lines. Maybe take out a copycat, a Tate and Liza, uh, maybe a couple of her cards for some Lilies and Judges, because I think they are fantastic cards. But hey, this is not my list. Um, I'm just testing it to see how it goes. And lastly, four copies of Choice Band. Uh, really important in the deck, uh, really obvious. Uh, it's pretty dead in the mirror, which is actually pretty prevalent at uh, Brazil. I would imagine quite a lot of the Shrine players played quite a lot of mirrors given the uh, sheer dominance that I had in the top 32 and top 8 cut. Uh, so yeah, you effectively have uh, 4 dead cards in the mirror which is the 4 Shrine uh, 4 choice. But if you're going first, at least you can drop your Shrine first and your opponent can't drop their Shrine. So it's giving them uh, 4 dead cards compared to your 3. So that's a kind of cool interaction um, but it's still seven cards uh, that are dead so maybe maybe lower the lines of this not the shrine and maybe the choice band um, just to sort of find text for the mirror stuff like a bayonet line or McCargo's he's not elected to play um, maybe find room for stuff like that and that's he for the energy um, it's it's kind of cool I kind of like it it's one beast ring uh, for Rainbow Energy again, don't know why PTCO has given me uh, different uh, arts, but sure. And uh, six Fighting Energy and the Loon Psychic Energy, probably drip with Trash Lunch all day long. Um, not me though, I won't. So that's the energy. Uh, let's play some games on the ladder. 
Um, I want to play my standard decks. Where is the second place Brazil? Please, let's go. Looking for opponents. Oh, there's people all. Yep, there we go. Let's go. We're against a uh, fire water grass deck. I would like heads, please. I would quite like to go first, yes. Uh, maybe it's this uh, Arceus deck I've heard so much about. Uh, that's a uh, mulligan. That's fine. <laughs> Both mulligans cancel out. There is a Trubbish. Not like I have any choice. The opponent has no basic Pokemon to play. That is fine. Done. Yeah, let's go. Trubbish. Trubbish control. Yes, I know. Okie doke. I'm definitely going to take that mulligan, because uh, I think I'm going first, I can't really remember, <laughs> actually. Um, but I'll take it anyway, unless he's playing before copycat again, then uh, that'd be unfortunate. But, sure, let's go, draw the mulligan. Yes, I would. There's a Garbodor, yay. Oh, it's so, it is... Ludicolo Macargo. Okay, this is kind of bad because it is a one prize deck just like myself. So, not too happy with that. Uh, let's play a Nest Ball. Um, I would quite like the Diancy because I want to do much more damage. Um, should I Cynthia draw a new hand? I kind of want to join the switch energy so I can just start pummeling away. And so, yeah, let's do it. I've obviously seen the Trubbish now, so they're not going to maybe commit too much to the items. Uh, I think they kind of have to because they're playing uh, Nest Balls and the like. So, I'm not sure they have too much option. But uh, regardless, let's attach an energy to the Buzzwall. And pass turn, because I... Oh, uh, no. I don't want to play down the Trubbish. No point. So, let's see what you got. Uh, water energy onto the low tile. That's fine. Lily to draw. Uh, four cards. Yay. Surprise. I have to actually read surprise. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. She's around the card in her opponent's hand. Oh, that's definitely not a bad basic Pokemon attack. Um, oh, Copycat's pretty blue out here. Do I want to play down another basic? Um, yeah, maybe Buzzwell, probably. Just to have it. Then, let's go Copycat's. No point playing down the Trubbish. Because, uh... Shrine, pretty dead, but uh, I might as well play it down so I don't draw into it later. And um, there is the switch, that's pretty good. Uh, do I want to commit anything else? Um, no, I don't think I do. Ah well, choice band definitely, because again, I don't want to draw into it. So, I'll put the choice band, I may as well put it onto the buzzword. I don't play Float Stone, so yeah, why not? Let's evolve up the uh, Trubbish into the Guard Boater. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Don't show me this again. I can't believe I've never evolved, apparently. Um, or maybe this does the first game every time. Not too sure. Nice ball could get me, uh, like, uh, what? Orangaru. Uh, or, sorry, not Orangaru. Uh, more. More of the same, not too sure I like that. Don't know if he plays enhanced hammers, I don't know about the rainbow energy. Um no, it's just streaming one energy, one prize attacker, so I have no real need to commit the special energy. Uh just get punished by enhanced hammer. Uh so 
We are Candy Ludiculo, evolved Slugman the Cargo and Go Tote. Well, he's taking his time here, so. Oh, Cynthia, with that many cards in hand. <sighs> Dembrick Sun. Look dead. So he's accepting his Lotad, and the active is going to uh, get knocked out, which uh, makes sense. We're still going to do a cheeky surprise here. Uh, pinch a card out of my hand, which I am so okay with, because uh, outside of maybe holding the rainbow energy, um, I'm not really uh, caring. So there's the Macargo, there's the Slugma, stack the deck, probably a draw supporter, uh, probably Lily just to get the max use out of it, there's no point Cynthia in here. Um, or maybe there is, I guess, it depends, I guess it depends. Um, it's either Lily or Cynthia definitely, because there's no Sycamore. Here comes the surprise. Big surprise. Bye, Nest Ball. Don't want to draw you down the line. There is switch. So, uh, oh, Ultra Ball to get rid of the Shrine seems pretty good. Um, but I don't really want to get rid of the switch. I don't really want to get rid of the Rainbow Energy. Um, ah, uh, I guess, I guess I've got, I've got many copies of the car like so. And uh, ten damage that would be Garbodor on a hundred uh, steps. Uh, I don't think I'm playing around circular steps too well, come to think of it. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, so that's an extra 50 on two circular steps. That's 120, 130, 140, 150, 150. Ah, they're, they're knocking me out either way. So, that's fine. Yeah, Rainbow Energy on to the... Yeah, I know it's Ultra Ball. Oh, is that the only thing in the discard? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, let's just uh, punch this uh, loot head. Um, what, what would I want off the prizes? I'm not, I'm not really caring. Didn't lie to that. Draw a supporter. Oh yeah, draw a supporter would be nice. Yeah, obviously, but the dark play is like what? 12. So, chances are high. So, he drew the whatever. He's going to smooth over again. So it's Lily. Oh yeah, L L Lily makes a lot more sense. Because it means you can basically chain the Macargos. So uh, here comes the Lily. There we go. Yeah, it might be. The Lily made more worse sense than Cynthia did. There's the Lombre. So he's not putting down the Kulu this turn, which is fine. So it means Buzzwall. Um, well, yeah, he's definitely going to be charging up the... Ridicolo. Maybe should have played around circular steps a bit better. It's like a pick, I actually completely forgot about the attack. Um, Guzma can't knock out Owl. This is the problem uh, against the arc. Um, until Trash Dance really becomes online, Guzma's not fantastic. Um, uh, Ultra Ball. Well, they'll definitely need the Guzma from a sledgehammer turn. Um, yeah, let's just take Liza. Shuffle, please. There is Rainbow, Copycat, and Rainbow. Tin Liza. Um, for Rainbow, I think it was a couple of... Yeah, sure, Rainbow. Let's smash a sledgehammer. You can hear some screaming in the background, that's my uh, baby parrot. She's not leaving me alone at the minute, no cheeky birdie. There's the Ludicolo. What's that, 140 HP, so I have to three shot it effectively. But there's there's a couple of more items in the disguise. I know it's choice ban, let me see the, di the whole discard, come on. <laughs> Ultra Ball, okay. Can't seem to look at the entire discard right now. This is fantastic. Let's move over. Let me look at the discard. One, two, three, four. Four items. Okay. Oh, that's quite a lot. Lily again. Commit another item, commit another item, commit another item. Yay! Why do you do that? Sure, at least he's gonna get his uh, teeth kicked in by the trash of lunch. Because I'm pretty sure I can one shot it. No, I can't. 
so. Oh, yes, I know it's off your ball. Oh, yeah, here comes the Oren Gary. Aqua Patch. Putting it, charging up the second with the Yes. That's another item. Oh, so he's forcing me to change. Change places. And uh, Baby Buzzwell, please. Yes, Baby Buzzwell. I am so sure that these are my five items. One, two, three, four, five, six. That, yeah. He's just getting his teeth kicked in by trash. So I'm going to get a second one charged up there. And see, this is when copycat becomes pretty poor. But I guess, I guess the theory is you have uh, many more draw supporters to use. Um, so that's fine, I guess. Shuffle, please. Definitely not switch. That would be uh, very bad. By way to go. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep uh, streaming trasher lunches. Um, yeah, I think that's my win con at this point because he's played. He hasn't played around it very well. 120. So I just need one more item, and I'm one shotting the the uh, Ludi Pillows anyway. Because it becomes fantastic because everything is in range. Um. Um, yeah, one more item, sir. So, he is one, oh, when he takes this knockout, he's Sledgehammer anyway. So, Sledgehammer, st oh no, Sledgehammer hits 140 as well, so, yeah, this is, this is, this is completely fine. Uh, he's, he's in a bit of a pickle. I think he has to Guzma out the buzz wall and kill it. Oh, he can't because he doesn't, he doesn't have any Guzma pivots. Oh, there's never a candy anyway. Okay, so he has so many threats to deal with right now that it really doesn't matter. Um, I can stream the Tigers a lot more effectively than he can. Uh, four, definitely four. So, yes, let's go. Baby Buzz will go. Uh, how many trucks? Okay, I think I've learned how to look at the active now without bringing up the last one in. So there's one Trubbish, one Garboder, so I have two Trubbish on the bench. Ah! Okay. Yeah, let's nest ball up a another Trubbish. Just get myself ready to go. Um, Cynthia. Point wasting ultra balls just for an Oranguru. Yeah, I'll commit that to him as well because I don't want to be Cynthia and all into them. So, alright, so there's a stretcher to get back the trash to lunch whenever. But a uh, sledgehammer for the knockouts. So, even if he does stream another attacker here, which he can't, he physically can't. Yeah, this is game soon. Because uh, just like I didn't really play around circular steps, I don't think 100% could have. What's the max damage he can do? Yeah, I don't think I could have played around it. So 70 plus 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 120 already. I mean, yeah, I don't think I could play around circular steps even if I tried. Uh, assuming he would have a full bench. Which is sort of a given, but at this point... Obviously, when you start taking knockout circular steps, 10 less damage each time. But I've just sort of accepted that uh, I don't really care because I'm streaming effective attackers. Oh, that's a bit of a pain. So, I would quite like to find an energy next turn. So, I can Guzma out the Macargo. That's not an energy. Um. Yeah, commit the choice band again to the Trubbish. Let's uh, stretcher up the 
Garbador. Evolve up. here off the copycat yeah so ultra ball oh no no oh yes okay so copycat and baby buzz roll oh yeah i could get the garbage in spite the whiff it there just just do that so Let's draw off Guri to hopefully draw an energy and then my line of play is very simple. No! Didn't Liza. Let's go. Well, there's an energy, so that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, he didn't, he didn't change the arrow. Uh, I just assume that after Sledgehammer you don't really, uh... You don't really get another Sledgehammer off, so... There's another sledgehammer in your face. Sledgehammer's obviously fantastic when your opponent can't respond to it. I guess I uh, definitely overlooked that. Let's go, nest ball. So I'm going to hopefully find an energy and uh, just attack the, the cargo. Just to stop this, so I'll uh, try and find an out stuff and the fact that we just kill off the game from there. But uh, obviously I'm in such a commanding position, I don't think it really matters that much. Let's see if we need to, can't even put two energy onto the Volcanian this turn. Because we need to get it into the bench, to the Aqua Patch, to get it back into the active again. Yeah, that's kind of obvious. Getting another one set up is his wing condition at this point. So he is charging it up, okay. Maybe I should just deal with that then. Nest ball for a little pad. My turn! Yeah, I'm just gonna smack into the. Well, don't really have a choice, but I'm gonna smack into the active. Uh, buzz or the active. Uh, oh yeah, he's already got a choice now. Gonna smack into the active Volcanian with Sledgehammer. He's gonna find the energy next turn. Hopefully, I can find the energy next turn to uh, trust lunch for the KO. Uh, but I'm not. I'm gonna draw supporters right now. Guess discarding the some Guzman's early game would have been nice, considering they're not as important. But sure. We play uh, all these straw supporters that the guy's playing, so finding one should be a given. How many have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we only got five left, I guess. Throwing the blast sucks, man. I'll uh, send out the Warsaw Red Burger. Damn soon, can I lower my hand low enough to get a oh, and carry off? So, baby balls will time. Ultra ball. Gives me a shrine. Yeah, I can. Just gonna whiff it. Oh, I'm <laughs> um, Should I Guzma to, uh, Increase my chances of finding an energy. Yes. Um, I'll make the uh, Slugma your the cargo your active. And I'll bring out this one. So, uh, energy. Even if I don't, the cargo's in the active. It's kind of nice. It's called like Beast Energy. The only energy not to get. Uh, copycat's pretty good. Though. Oh yeah, Guzmud. Um, yeah, let's just do that and uh, pass on to you. So he needs to find a way to put the Hulk into the active again, but even then I can knock it out with Baby Buzzwall. So we're all good. We're all good.
I'm going to gizmo that Makar or that uh, Volk either way and kill it. Then Trash Lunch will just pick up knockouts onto the Lady Kulu. Gizma! I'm fine with all of them to be honest. There we go. So that makes my land to play a lot easier. There's literally Trash Lunch. Nest ball, whiff it please. Oh, I have to whiff it, yeah, I forgot about that. And let's go copycat. Energy, 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 energy. Oh, really? That's unfortunate. How many energy have I got left? I'm pretty sure I've got enough. I don't think I've seen very many basic fighting. Oh, that's quite a lot of energy in there to be fair. I don't think I can lower my hand enough. No. Don't want to draw maybe into this anyway, so. Tate and Eliza and Shrine. Okay, yeah, I couldn't do anyway, So. Yeah, I think this game's lost. Because uh with the energy twice. It's kind of unfortunate. This deck doesn't do too good against uh, fellow one prize attackers though. But it definitely doesn't do too well to whiffing your stuff. Yeah. Cynthia. Yeah, what's the other? Oh, well, yeah, I got the puzzle energy. Ah, uh, thank you, you too. Um. How do you, how do you, see, there we go, yes, that didn't go so well, against the fellow one price deck, unfortunate, damage dealt 690, so yeah, that was, that was a bit, a bit, uh, a bit annoying, but what could you do, let's play another game of it then, shall we? Okay, uh, what? That's quite a lot of archetypes in one. Uh, heads, always heads. Heads it is. The hell with teals never fails. Mulligan. Double mulligan. Triple mulligan. Oh, he's playing Glissapod, uh, Zorark, Macargo. This matchup should be pretty good. Shuffle it all in. Sure. I would quite like to start with the puzzle, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, put that there. And again, probably maybe I should have waited. Uh, so he doesn't know if it's playing Weaval or Trubbish. Oh, double one pod. Okay. You obviously would have saw what I was playing by the... Um, attach that's pretty obvious. Getting beast energy would be nice, but unlikely. Copy card for one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Um,. Um, Ultra Ball 4 on Garu, Trubbish. No, all good. That's pass. Oh, maybe I should put the Choice Band down. No, because Choice Band's actually irrelevant in this matchup, so. All good.
Gives me like the. Oh, it's definitely not what you want in Zorark. Wow! Brixon! Let's get this up. Forces are pointed to out it. The white is in the discard. Uh, Taking Liza into the. Back into the buzzle. Seems kind of nice. Then again, I'm without a draw supporter, and I don't really like that. Um, do I care that much about this? This is a really poor opening. I do want to capitalize off it. So, uh, drawing more cards does sound cool. And I do play Switch. Um, let's go for True Span on to that. Titan Liza. Titan Liza. G. Uh, switch. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. We can go on to the Trubbish. Yeah, it probably wasn't correct actually, because now I'm not left with much. I guess I over exaggerated how uh, important this was. Should I, Drew? Blower, okay, but sure. Another item for trash lunch. Oof, bricky rickies. Yeah, I probably should charge up a swing around. Probably should have done that by now. Eh? Uh, Ultra Ball, discard two energy for the sake of running on Garu. No. That's just Sledgehammer. Should have got the NC to pick up a prize, but I'm in no rush. He needs to leave with a yes, a rolling up. <laughs> when pod seems really purr either way. Oh, so he's got the glass pod sorted. Oh, he did. He did. Does yes, roll it up. Okay, interesting. Hope he doesn't try and evolve the uh, glass pod here, thinking that that makes it the active. So first impression. No, he's gonna gnaw me. Jeez, this guy has bricks. This guy has bricks. Moy, moy, moy. Okay, uh, I'm gonna ultra ball now for switch and an energy. So I'll have swing around for the Rangaroo. I don't think this deck's meant to set up swing around, but uh, sure, here we are. There's your Rangaroo down. Energy onto the active. Instruct for three. There's another shrine up, but he doesn't have. Oh, okay, he could evolve into the spot next turn. Yeah. Shrine. I think shrine always goes down anyway. Uh, Cynthia. Nest ball for another Voswell. Or Dancy. Could do Dancy. Dancy's math doesn't help at the minute, though, so. Could maybe help next turn. No, it'll be two shot and things anyway. And he has no area up, so it's kind of irrelevant anyway. Swing around, I don't need to flip any heads for a knockout. Don't get any anyway. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. One, two, one part now. I'm pretty sure it's just getting, yeah, there we go. That's unfortunate from our friend over there. And um, the only real mistake I made there was shuff not shuffling with Titan Lies, but I guess I over exaggerated how much the trouble in the actual was doing. Um, it wasn't really. It was doing okay, so. We'll play one more game with this and we'll move on to a different deck, the fourth place Brazil one. It was a Buzzwool mm, uh, Weaval, I believe.
Let's go. Oh, I got distracted by a part. I didn't see uh, what the deck was. Okay, starting trouble. Do have the psychic energy is kind of nice. Means I can commit out without losing to enhanced timer. But I'm much rather attached to the BB Buzzle of Nest Ball. <laughs> then let's tantalize a switch again! Oh wait, no, that's terrible. We definitely got a copy cut depending on your opponent's hand. Yeah, I know, I'm well aware. Thanks for telling me. Mysterious treasure. What's the active, sorry. Inky, Malamar. Uh, Malamar's probably fine. If it's a spread variant, then no, it's not spread variant. That's okay. I think the spread variant slash one prize attacker box is a good matchup here. Uh, this matchup is really good because of the thing in the active, or at least what it becomes. The uh, Trubbish becomes the Guard Buddha, which is fantastic in this matchup. Try and not play items now. Um, I think I actually really do want to set up just stream as many uh, trash launches as possible. Um, I could drop off, that's kind of not very good. Um, what are the chances of him finding Dark Flash next turn? Or what impact would it have on me? Anyway, so there's a Trubbish. Why is Acid Spray 1 gone? Yeah, you drop off. And he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, copycat! Copycat too strong. Yeah, shrine boy. One shriny boy. Ultra ball. Um Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball. No, I'll save it. Stomp ball, sorry, not drop ball. Oh, discarding a mile or more. That hurts, I'm sure. Okay, the theory of uh, them holding items to die to copycat is proving true here. Uh, copycat, it's just Cynthia, that's fine. Uh, they really shouldn't be playing copycats in a deck like this. That's a pseudo widow. That does nothing. Trying to punish me. Mmm, baby buzzword. I think I'm just gonna literally stomp off. Hopefully hit some items. Don't want to commit an energy down. Not really. There's no real disruption in this format, so it's kind of a uh, don't really need to play around N. The only thing I've learned now I need to play around is playing it as copycat. Uh, but how many copies of copycat is he playing? This is the question. Yes, honey. Baby bird. Um, do I want to commit the rainbow? Yeah, I might as well. Okay, so that. that doesn't have any mobs anyway. I don't want to ultra ball. I'm quite okay, so that's Cynthia for uh, two more cards, basically. That's pretty good! No, no point commanding the choice band. Um, yeah, sure, play Baby Buzzle Dino. Give me one more bench because it's sort of widow. No, I'm fine. Yeah, let's stomp off again. What's that? It's in the Cosma. I guess it's kind of cool uh, milling all the uh, important items and, or the Pokemon and whatnot, but I need, I really want to hit items. Items would be mucho prefero. The thing is, with uh, 
Oh, well, I guess, I guess it's kind of annoying because he could uh, obviously bring out the, the Dawn Wings and hit me with Dark Flashes. And then when it is about to become Sledgehammer turn, he could uh, GX attack. Oh, no, he can't because he won't be behind. Hmm. Well, it should be okay then. As long as I can hit. Okay, sure. There's no right of two. Oh, more items. Um, uh, thought you were doing okay with your item count there, but now you now not so much. Again, oh Jesus. No fear. No fear. You don't even need to commit items here. Like, dark flashing is a completely legitimate uh, strategy at this point. No need to commit that many items. Okay, who am I sending out now? He's got one, two, three, four items. That means I'm hitting for Eerie. Uh, not a good use of a garb, so let's go Eerie. Ah, oh, no, wait, no. It wouldn't have been. If I drew Shrine, it would have been good. Again, that's my part. Apologies. I'm very angry because she's not getting attention. Aha, uh -huh, cheeky birdie. Well played as I Cynthia, you too Frando. Wow, what is this? This is gay, that's what that is. Again, probably didn't need to commit that at all, because that means when if he gives me it, it is uh, a knockout. But I really could have done with a trubbish there, that would have been very important. So I really should have nest ball for an upper trubbish. Uh swings and roundabouts I guess. So that should be enough. No, I need another choice band or another couple of items for uh, Trash to take the knockout. He's got four in there, so that's 80, 150. Yeah, I need a choice band. Depending how many cards he keeps, copycat. If he does knock out the garb, it's fine, because I'll be in Sledgehammer to turn. So either way, I'm looking. I'm looking good. I think he is. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. Either, either whatever one he knocks out, it's okay. I wasn't paying attention there. Another item. Woo! -hoo! Lily. Lily passed. Lily passed. Lily passed. Lily passed. Oh, Lily knock out. Yeah, that'd be sweet. <laughs> Damn. He knows about copycat. Knock me out, boy! So, I need a... No, I don't need damage more. Oh, I do, yeah. I need a... Like, shrine. Um... What? Shrine. Ash, I hold the rainbow on the off chance I draw the beast. No. Uh, let's go copycat. Tyante, Choice Band, Shrine, yay! Sledgehammer! Thank you, sir. Alright, what is his wing condition at this point? Lele Control. It's good for retreat anyway, it's a shrine, so it's fine. Or altar. Altar, sorry. Shrine's my card. Ultra Ball! Um, I guess... I guess the upper bikes are a bit greedy. But I guess after this point he kind of has to. You know, it doesn't really have a choice, does he? So there is... Can't even dark flash because he's you know, dark flash. The X attack still moon. So at least that's all powered up for him. But if he's not outing the, he has the attack energy. 
He has to. And then promote. Yeah, there we go. I was about to say, because he's just going to lose the trash. Or, uh, spray pain. Okay, how much damage am I doing with trash? Damage? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, twenty. Let's do trash. Good last benched. Train. Um, yeah, let's trash a lunch. Truth down would have been much more preferred, but. Yeah. I racing too, so I guess that's fair. What's what's he got? Another item. Hey, you're just being greedy now. So that's one forty. So choice band and two shrines, like two greedy. Choice band and no shrine, sorry. I'm just gonna let me see, baby buzz wool. So go to one four days under my turn. Such or such I'm gonna be doing ten, so that's not very good. Let's nice ball for Dancy, we're pretty sure. Judge, okay. Yeah, there's Dancy. Oh no, I misplayed. Sheet. So it just went with uh, trash. Probably doing more damage. Oh, it's relevant. <laughs> I love when you uh, misplay and it pays off. I'm sure, he's absolutely loving that. an ultra ball so and goes now so yes yeah, this is this is game no matter what he does he has to heal he has to tap a cure like there's no if ands or buts but he has to tap a cure the toppy lele Judge, okay, that's fair. Okay, let's see here then, what's my run of fire? Probably just throw in a word. No, because I need to take a knockout this turn, don't I? Hmm. Could 
attempt to draw into the Guzma, I guess. Um, Guzma. I don't think I can take a knockout onto the active thingy. So there's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Na what? He loses! Okay. Well, he'd lose anyway because of. Uh, uh, we call it. We call it. Weakness. Okay, so that deck's kind of cool, I guess. Not too sure about the copycats and stuffs. But there we go. So, the sort of last deck I'm going to do today, because this is my first stream, so I want to try and gauge how long I should be playing for. Yeah, 75 coins. Thank you very much. We're going to be looking at the fourth place Brazil deck. Um, here it is here. So this is Buzzwall Weaval Macargo. Um, I can I really do like the Macargo line. You're probably thinking that uh, uh, how how good is Macargo in this deck? Because you know you can't really Macargo and draw at the same time, or at least not. And anything too meaningful, uh, but that's where you'd be wrong, sir. Uh, Orangaru makes, you know, you could have that uh, non-supporter draw with Macargo to draw into stuff like Guzma, which is probably the main thing people are wanting to draw off Macargo because it just it's a very aggressive card. Um, puts you on the offensive, uh, puts your opponent behind, so, so you can, you do get that anyway. And of course, Orangaru is just a could be a solid attacker if called upon. Uh, but it's either Garb or this guy as the Weavile, or sorry, as the uh, Boswell partner. And uh, both have two completely different um, afflictions because Weavile is good against the quote unquote uh, meta decks, i.e., Zorark, um, Rayquaza, uh, basically most of the. Let's just say they're called meta uh, because they all play abilities 50 times, 50 times each uh, ability your opponent has onto the active Pokemon. So, Tapu Lele, Zoroark, uh, Vika, Volt, um, Rayquaza himself, even that whole uh, Magnezone deck that's been kind of popular. That like Weavil just does so much damage to it. Um, Weavil is fantastic. But the trade-off is Weavil is terrible against the Mur because they could just not play Deancey down and they could just not play uh, Orangaru down, which means you are doing a grand total of Zilch. Uh, Macargo might be a bit harder to not put down, but even with that, you're only doing 50. Um, they could easily not play them and put your grand total of Evil animation down to zero, which means you're playing mono uh, buzzwall control with uh, maybe Macargo's or whatever. So Weavile is really hit or miss in the matchups it's good against. It is unbelievable, incredibly hard to play around, and just wins games by itself. Against the matchups that it's not very good against, it is absolutely terrible. Uh, pretty much a dead card. Uh, it's something to think about when you're choosing your Buzzwell partner if you want to play a deck like this. Then obviously the four baby Buzzwell, nothing to say here. Um, just a fantastic card, Sledgehammer. Uh, always happens, always, 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 because you never play down, you can't play down more than uh, a prize, basic, or more than, yeah, more than a prize giveaway. So uh, Sledgehammer always eventually does um, 120, 140, 170, etc, etc, with all the damage modifiers. So... Buzzwell is just fantastic, uh, it's the reason why decks like this, Shrine decks, are doing so well because this is just the perfect partner to it, uh, just of course finding the perfect partner to Buzzwell. Uh, Deancey, obvious, just with damage modifiers to BB Buzzwell, and then the Macargo. Um, yeah, I, I do like it in here, don't know about a 2-2 line, um, I guess it is cons meant to be consistently get it off so you don't have to search as many copies of it or search as many pieces. 
for it and smooth over it even if you can't get the smooth over um, the cardio stack this turn it's fine because next turn you can go off you can uh, just consistently see draw supporters for example you can uh, Cynthia this turn smooth over put them over Cynthia on top and then you're good to go for the next turn um, if you replay a bayonet line in here for example for the mirror uh, I, I think you really do need that from now on for going against the buzzgarb deck if you play a 1-1 Bennett line in here in place of, I actually don't really know, but if you do play it, yes, it's a lot out of 1-1 lines, but Bayonet is so good against Garboder um, and against Boswell as well because of resistance that I think it is just a card you have to play in here if you're wanting to beat the Buzzgarb deck. So that's the Pokemon. Uh, moving on to the trainers. Um, pretty st standard, quote-unquote. Um, three Acro Bike, um, I'm not too sure why people don't play four, maybe it's a space thing, I'm not too sure, but this and Macargo is a really good interaction to have uh, as an option for the deck, but unfortunately, as I said, with the deck before, Garb destroys decks like this just because of the amount of items um, you're actually forced to play, there's not too much you can do about it, you do need your nest balls, um, switches, just all of that stuff, so Garb really hurts you really hard, which is why uh, Vinette with its Tomb Hunt GX puts in a lot of work. Um, obviously, Tomb Hunting for three items that you don't really want to play again isn't the best thing to do, or the most preferred thing to do, but like I said, it does make Trash Lunch not so much of an issue, so you can uh, take that sort of out of the game and play on ahead. Uh, four nest ball really standard it's needed one pal pal just to give you that stamina in the mirror uh, especially or oh, most games are very grindy there's no sort of games that you can really power your way through so pal pal just gives you that stamina uh, in the deck that you, you do need uh, to switch because flute stones uh, not with us anymore sad emoji uh, four ultra ball again don't know why ptco is giving me four different arts but let's go um, the four Shrine of Punishment, uh, yeah, I've well, talked about that in the last uh, profile. Four Cynthia, incredibly standard. Four Guzma, uh, really standard again. It just allows you to uh, be on the aggressive and make sure all your damage counts. Uh, because we Val in here as well, it's the same as Garboder. It will eventually do a lot of damage in the matchups that it is good against. So uh, actually picking up two prizes each time, for example, with your Weavile is just really, really good. You can, of course, go toe-to-toe -to -toe and exchange one prizes. Uh, the deck is definitely good at that, but just having Guzma to take out problematic threats, uh, maybe cut off the Zorak supply, it is just a really, really good option. Uh, then four Lilies, uh, three, three, sorry, I'm blind. Three Lily, uh, thank you goodness that's in this deck i think it is just so 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 good yes of course you don't have the control uh, of picking your turn one supporter as you would do in the likes of zorark or Requaza, but having lily uh, is just a she is the second best uh, supporter behind cynthia in terms of draw so why not play it uh, two Kukui uh, more damage modifiers um, i'm not too sure what the exact math it's for but I imagine that even with stuff like Weavile, it means you can only have four, um, four abilities and the quick way means that you can still take a knockout on stuff like um, Zorark or if you're going against Lycanroc, it means you can have three abilities and choice band quick way still takes a knockout on Lycanroc. So uh, stuff like that, there's obviously more uh, sort of interaction will fight to the widow because yeah it just it ruins boswell uh, which is his bulk uh the 130 hp body is a nightmare for zorg decks to deal with because it means they have to draw into the light which is devour planes or kukui or stuff like that maybe deancy if they're playing like and rock so they can claw stash for a clean ko but unit energy just forces them that you have to draw that over rainbow uh they have to draw it whereas Rainbow Energy just gifts that sort of 120 that they can return to KO and although it's not a huge huge deal it, it's it's just annoying for me. So for unit energy, uh, for fighting energy, uh, for the blue puzzles obviously you could play for Rainbow Energy in here if you want. Uh, just to sort of, you know, always have Weaver and Boswell live at all at the same time. 
Uh, but I don't know. I think Boswell is the main spearhead of attack in the deck. So uh, probably playing more for fighting energy than the, always having the dark for Weavile is probably correct. Uh, lastly, it won't be the energy because you play Buzzwall. So let's go, let's play a couple of games and that will do us for today. Um, let me know if you what, what you just thought about the stream, guys. Uh, it is my first one, so I don't really know what I'm sort of looking for. I'm just sort of talking away and uh, playing some games, testing for my League Cup on Saturday. Uh, yay, two win streak. Woo! Oh, don't play, don't pick heads. Heads is my boy. Alright, we'll call it then. Damn. See, heads never fails. Buzzle, buzzle, buzzle. Yay! That's all you need in life. Buzzle and the active. And a mulligan. Mulligans are good too. Baby buzzle, baby buzz. Baby buzz, whoa, baby buzz, buzz, whoa. I apologize for the music in the background. I didn't pick it. It's fecking Drake. Uh, of course, if you like Drake, no offense, but you know, it's not my music of choice. It's just MTV. But now there's no busy Pokemon. How do you draw a new hand? Hell yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Quaza! Oh, you're gonna get your teeth kicked in by Weavil, sir. Oh yeah, I'm not playing Garb. Damn. Should I punish him with Garbador? Oh yeah, you still get punished with Garbador right now. But you're still gonna get punished by Weavile nonetheless. Unless you, like, elect never to commit to, like, Marshadow turn one and Vigavolt. Oh, well, he, he could try and play around a Weavile, I guess, but I'm still taking two shots on it. Uh, which will even out the prize trade in the end, so that's fine by me. I'll not reveal that I'm playing Weavile just yet. Um, Sluggy Boy, no, because... Oh, what are the chances? Yeah, you probably high chance of him taking a knockout in the next turn. One buzzle is prized. Um, I've got an Ultra Ball, I guess. So, yeah, let's go with Sluggy Boy. Touch. I don't really want to scarred energy or could discard Cynthia, I guess. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Obviously not to fill our Cynthia, obviously. I've got pal pads, so I can't get it back when called upon. Oh yeah, right, pick sluggy boy. Don't want two sluggy boys. Oh Diancy, 50! 50 onto the active. No, I won't ever do the buzzer. It's too, too risky. I'm just going to assume that he has the idea of the buzzer as well, so at least I can play around it that way. Cynthia! Always assume your opponent has the out. Always. Damn, drew the beast energy for once. Should I play Sneasel Down yet? No, I'll let him play into it first. Um, Nest Ball. For Diancy, please and thank you. How about the? And that means I, if I draw choice band next turn, I can knock out the Rayquaza with a beast. No, I can't. I'm ten off. Can you try? I don't think I can have the. Uh, so let's just preserve Dragon Break for what, 90? He needs two more energy. Oh yes, yeah, Storm Winds. See, there's two um, abilities. So he's playing in the Weaver, but yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I'll probably wait till he plays another um, ability down, just so Weaver Choice Band takes the KOs. Oh, he'd be so getting punished by... You're just assuming I'm not playing the trash lunch, which is not correct. One thirty. Cheeky bird. Baby buzzle, and yeah, I'll play down the sneezel now. You're still getting your kick hit, or you keep kicked in by. 
trash if I played it because you went really early aggressive. But I, I guess you didn't have a choice, did you? There's a shrine. Oh, I am so saggy. Why am I like this? And then I can just start combo things. So when he passes, bye bye Rayquaza, and I've got Sledgehammer, so this is like insanely good turn. Ah, that's a bad shot. It's a really good draw, actually. Sure, what can we do? He's like super played into Weevil now, like... Alright, so preferably, uh, what would I like? Off this lovely, what would I like? Cook, cook away instead. One shrine up, shrine would be fantastic. Uh, we've all, we've all, but also be fantastic. I have wasted my uh, sledgehammer turn because he had the uh, field blower. That was unfortunate. But, what can you do about it? Nothing, that is what. It's going to open myself up to have the Weavile next turn. Yeah. Unfortunately, I had to waste the Sledgehammer, but... That's the story. So I need Weavile Choice Band. Uh, unless he plays another ability, then that would just be superb. But there's no reason for him to. that now he found these other cards. Okay, watch me whiff the Weavile. Watch me whiff, whiff. Alright, it's pretty good. Guzma, 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 Guzma. Maybe this will die now as the backup. Cookie. Weevil! That's really annoying. That is very, very. Very annoying. It's the problem with playing uh, this many Guzman and on Zorak deck. They all, they all show up all together. Not even anything I want a Guzman anyway. Even if I didn't could we first. Which? Oh, what did I put onto the Slugma? Oh, oh, what am I doing? What even was that? Uh, I thought it was brown. Oh, it's just a thing for the viewers at home. I am colorblind, so that doesn't matter. Uh, what even is life? That's unfortunate, but it wouldn't happen in real life, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, sure. It is what it is, isn't it? Let's try another game of it. I didn't really agree with that requires a guy's plays because um, how much energy would I have on board? I think he had enough to knock out the buzzwall anyway. He did not. I don't think he needed to uh, commit the another ability. Maybe just assume I had choice band weasel anyway, so he may as well have. But it just give. <sighs> Just makes me, it just forces me to get the out rather than just presenting it to me. I don't know. And the amount of items he went through was a bit iffy. But sure. I'm not going to be salty because uh, I lost because I'm colorblind, not because he was a bad player or anything like that. So. But yeah, like uh, if I didn't break, you would have saw how good uh, the Weevil is. Uh, Sluggy Boy is not a good start, but let's do it.
Yeah. Ultra Necrozma. Okay. Switch or unit energy? I do like switch. Weevil's obviously really good in this matchup. Guzma and Cargo. Oh, I've only got one stretcher. Guzma and Cargo. Just so I can draw lots and lots of cards off. Lily, because I do have the first to get that in the cargo when needed. Obviously, you'd rather shuffle three things in with the stretcher. But, yeah, you know. There's my cargo anyway, so that's fine. Should I get a weasel? No, I'll wait till all the Mallies are up. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's go join the cargo because it means I can't hold the stretcher to actually put three things back in instead of. Right. So. He's going to commit a lot of items. Is that a Sophocles? That is a Sophocles. Interesting. There's two items. I'm going to assume he doesn't know that I'm playing the weasel over the. Oh no, he would know, yeah, because Dark was going to start not so big. Oh, okay, that makes uh, the requires this guy's thing a bit better. Really? That's really annoying, PDGO, that shows what types you're playing beforehand. Okay. So he's going all in for abilities. Well, not really all in. Hopefully, I have uh, three on the bench. My next turn, so let's do that. Follow up the material. Touch an energy to the buzzball. Yeah, because our swing line's not going to come up. Um, yeah, hold everything else. Then I'll smooth it. Shine! My car goes straight down as soon as you draw it. Right. Let's move over for a draw supporter if you please. Well, definitely the full art, Cynthia. You have to, don't you? Right, you want to find it so it's going to be 40 onto the Crosma. is because I'll just make him play into Sledgehammer. We'll exchange some pairs until Sledgehammer comes up. And then Weasel will come down. So on my Sledgehammer turn, I'll present the Weasel. Maybe just before. And then, yeah, just go off. Obviously, I'll just come to the Wait, I've got the Weasel and that's unfortunate. So he's setting up the uh, Dawnlings, that's fine. He's very attached for turn. Acro Right. Yeah, because I am just trading KOs until the slide channel. Um, 
pass out quickly, so that would be 30, 50, 60. Is that better than just synthing? Synth, synthing, um, fifty, sixty, seventy. No, Cynthia. I think. Uh, there we go. There's Weasel. Quickly, Iron Stugma. Slugma? No. Oh, alter's up. Uh. That would be in close ones. I could draw for anger, but I won't. If I die in the slugma. Well, like a spread variant, because you don't really need to focus on the active, you just let Shrine turn away. Me, I eat trying twice. Oh, I forgot to move over. Damn, misplay. I've done so many things last turn, I never remember to move over. Oh, no, I just... Right. Nice ball for the weasel. And then we'll get Weave All out. I'll smooth over. Could draw it this turn actually if I put the two choice band down. Don't really want to though, so I can get the field draw. Again, it lets me actually have my draw free. For yeah, okay, I will. Playing on PG is a lot different to playing online or in real life. Not just that color line stuff, but yeah. Okay. Pop pads. Putting in that many jaw supporters isn't a bad thing, but I'll hold it. I'll hold it. is cool. I've got a uh, Guzma. Okay. Up the weasel officer. Yeah. That's okay. I could have had the uh, energy plus weasel next turn, but no. I should take the knockout on that thing anyway. Let's see. I forgot shrine. 30, 60, 90. Yeah, it is. It's not good anyway. So, the weasels are all on. Oh yeah, he plays three Sneasel, that's right. Yeah, I get that all set up and then Rassie Shatter becomes blue out. Right, what do I want to ask me for energy? Yeah. Just forces him to have the out.
Because I'm pretty sure it's not going anywhere. Oh, they're shining anyway. Right, so hold on. That's... Aries on, right? So, Sidetrunner's doing... 60 Choice Fund. 90... Beast Energy. Well, yeah, it's definitely Knockout. So, Energy, not sure. Am I missing something? That seems like it's definitely not great. play in his part. So now I have to answer the weevil. So I need to draw the stretcher but I got a gurry and a cargo. So I should be okay. Oh oh ah uh, he could have got blocked. Oh he's charging up this boy. I think that's forced me to have the weaver on him, but... Yeah, okay, well, I'll see him anyway, right? but he didn't know that. Too bad he can't just show your cards. Oh, the choice bands do so much in this matchup, good boy. Um, yeah. I say I could have shine and took out the free retreat, but it doesn't matter. So he's going to retreat in to the... He should have done that first thing. Oh yeah, because he didn't put me out. one. Oh no, he's definitely not that one. Okay, not okay. I don't know, bring up anything. Bring up the sneeze. Put on the choice band for shits and giggles. Nice GG, sir. Okay, sweet. So, as you can see by the sort of decks. They are really good against the uh, best decks, the EXGX decks, but they can struggle against the Mur, but I think the Mur also struggles against you, you're on the same playing field. But I guess uh, other non EXGX decks that aren't the Buzzwool deck, uh, they can struggle against uh, just because their whole condition is to have the one prize attackers. So, you know. Uh, if your opponent also has that and they can do it better than you, then you're not doing too good. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the stream, guys. I'll be streaming uh, again for Wednesday, Saturdays as well. I'll be doing some feature matches at locals, um, so stay tuned for that. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you want anything different or you think I maybe should have done something differently. Definitely, definitely. Uh, let me know, but for now, this is Chris from NCG signing out.